Today we are talking about a heartbreaking news and something we all wish never happened. Two indigenous women Morgan Harris and Marcetta's Myron have been missing, and in December Winnipeg police believes their remains are in the Prairie Green landfill. The federal minister responsible for Crown Indigenous Relations announced a $500,000 funding for a feasibility study to explore whether the landfill can be searched. The outcome of the study is now out, and it suggests the search is possible. We have to go back to the beginning to understand this matter in detail. Winnipeg police have charged Jeremy Anthony Skibicki with four first-degree murder after the bodies of the four women were found either partially or completely in landfills throughout the city. Rebecca Contois was the first of the four women to be identified after partial remains were discovered in a landfill last June. Indigenous leaders then named the fourth woman as Buffalo Woman, and police believes the remains Morgan Harris and Marcetta's Myron are in the Prairie Green landfill near the city. However, due to the passage of time and a large volume of material deposited at the site the search was uncertain. The Assembly of Manitoba Chiefs requested for a $500,000 funding for a feasibility study to look into whether the landfill can be searched for the remains of the two women. The federal minister responsible for Crown Indigenous Relations obliged and granted the funding to AMC. It was announced on Thursday that the study completed and the outcome was being reviewed. Details of the outcome have been kept secret at this point, but it has been said to be a positive one. We hope and pray that the AMC and other relevant organizations find the remains of these women. We would also like to thank the families, community leaders, and the AMC for their efforts in this matter. Their culturally sensitive and trauma-informed attitude is commendable. The Federal Minister's Office also remarked their commitments to supporting the families and communities during this difficult time. As horrible as this news is, we should also remember to stand together in this time of tragedy and help the families and the community to get through it.